Hello my YouTube friends, do you want to be able to replace your face with all sorts of creative masks on your live stream? Like this one. Or this one. Or maybe this one. Or maybe you just want to go a little incognito. It's super easy to do. There are hundreds and hundreds of different masks you can choose from, and it works for Windows and Mac. And I show you how to do it today. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. A word of caution to those using streaming machines that are less than optimal. This app takes some processing power to do what it does, so if your machine struggles to live stream, you may not want to do this. The requirements aren't too steep though, so as long as you don't notice a large amount of lag for your video, so the voice won't match what you see on the screen, then then you should be okay. And there is a way to fix this if you do get some lag. You can check this video out right here and I show you how. The first thing we need to do is download the app. So you're gonna go to this web page here. The link is in the description and we wanna click on download and you come up with this form. This tells you the system requirements right here. So just be sure that your machine matches these requirements or preferably is actually better than those requirements. And you have this long agreement statement. You can read through it if you like. Below that, you have to mark the check so that it says that you've read the agreement. You do not need to put your email in here. You can just click the I'm not a robot. And once you're verified to not be a robot, you can click your appropriate download. And for me, it's PC on this one. Once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna double click it here in the bottom left, and I'm going to install it, just clicking next. And the default location is fine. I'm gonna add a shortcut on my desktop to make it easy to get to, and click next, and then install. Once it's on your system, it's gonna bring up a message that asks you if you wanna open it, so why not open it? And click finish. And here we are in the Snap Camera app. Just click next and then finish. If you wanna read a little bit about it, you can right there. And here we are. I'm just gonna go up to the gear in the top right here and I'm gonna set up the proper camera. I wanna use my cam link and I'm gonna use my cam link microphone and I'm also going to set it up so that it is 1920 by 1080. Select my proper microphone. Now I don't wanna run my Snap Camera on system startup, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then I'm going to turn off Enhance Video Stream even when there's no lens activated because I just don't want all kinds of filters on my stream other than when I decide to actually apply the filters in the snap camera. So this means when your snap camera is not giving you a filter that you should just get your regular normal camera look and it shouldn't be anything weird. Now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna set up my hotkeys. This will allow me to turn the face mask on and off just by selecting this hotkey here. And then trigger lens effects. Some of the lenses or face masks have all kinds of different effects. You'll have to play around with them and see. But you can trigger those effects with a hotkey if you want. And you just set that hotkey right here. And that's all there is to setting up the snap camera. I just click the X to go back up here in the top left hand corner. And now I'm gonna flip over into OBS and I'm going to go to video capture device under sources. I'm gonna add a video capture device and I'm gonna drop devices down and select snap camera. And there we go. You can see that I'm there with the mask that I have selected in snap camera. And I'm going to go ahead and select my audio as well. And I'm gonna set my resolution to custom and make sure that 1920 by 1080, which is the size of my canvas is selected and we're good to go, I think. So I just click OK, and there we go. Now the mask is working. You can see it looks pretty awesome. Now if I click the hotkey, it turns the mask on and off whenever I want. And I'm gonna add this camera to another scene just so you can see that you can configure this however you want. You can move the camera down in the bottom right, and there you go. These face masks really do move pretty well. So now I can just open up Snap Camera and I'm gonna change scenes, and there you go. You can easily change whatever mask you wanna use just by going into Snap Camera and selecting a different mask. And there are some absolutely epic masks here. This cartoon one is just amazing. 
Now you'll notice some of these have a little more processing power behind them, so it may actually out of sync your audio. It could happen, just be aware of that. And these are really fun. You can just go through and play with all the different kinds of masks and all the different sorts of things that you can do. And some of them even have other effects, like this one here it has a little squid talon that comes up when I move my hand on the screen. There are literally hundreds of masks that you can download and use. And the beautiful thing is that you can actually create your own masks as well. So you can definitely have a lot of fun with this, especially on your live stream. I'm working on some really cool tools to make these do some really fun things for my live stream. So I can't wait to really dive in and play with this. What's your favorite mask on here? Let me know in the comments. If you wanna see video on other awesome plugins for OBS Studio, then check this one out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.